Recent online photos of China's J-35 stealth fighter reveal notable advancements of the project. This image shows a prototype of the J-35 removing the nose test pitot tube, indicating significant progress in its test flights. The absence of the pitot tube suggests that the J-35 has completed various early test flights, rendering the need for atmospheric data collection unnecessary. Here is a photo of older J-35 prototype with the tube. I will continue to update the progress of the J-35 fighter, please subscribe to my channel to receive notifications. Change shown in the photo signifies the integration of radar and other detection equipment into the latest J-35 prototype. This aircraft is designated with the number 3503 on its inlet sidewall, this prototype marks the third prototype of the J-35. The same number is painted on the vertical tail route to ensure clear identification. Unlike its predecessors the J-15, the J-35 foregoes the kneeling main landing gear, favoring an upright configuration to absorb landing impact efficiently. While this design precludes a side missile bay due to increased internal space requirements, it offers weight reduction benefits. The J-35's landing arrest hook is externally mounted between the two engine nacelles, featuring an optimized shape distinct from the J-15 to address potential issues with main landing gear proximity. To mitigate radar reflection signal from tips of the J-35's wings and tails, relevant components of the J-35 incorporate tangent designs, indicating a focus on minimizing radar cross-sectional area during test flight phases. This attention to detail distinguishes the J-35 as a fifth-generation fighter, a capability not yet achieved by other prototypes, such as those from South Korea and Turkey. Thank you for watching, please share, comment and click like button. Thank you.